Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss language processing system. The name itself specify the processing of a language. That means the steps that are used for execution of a program. What are the different steps that are required for execution of a program? Before going to these steps, what are some necessities that are required for implementing a program? Remember, coming to the type of software, we have generally two types of software. Among them, one is called application software. Second one is system software. What do you mean by application software? The software that is designed for some specific purpose. For example, uh, going to DMOT. Here they have a software that is used for building application. Suppose movie tickets. They are developed a software that only book movie tickets. That is the software for some specific application is called application software. What do you mean by system? The name specify the software that is designed for usage of the system and by using this system software only we can implement application softwares. So simple example of system software is operating system. So without operating system it is not possible to execute or to implement any software. So in the simple sense system software Simply the softwares that are used to run application software, compilers, debuggers, assemblers, operating systems are different types of softwares. Now, coming to this particular language, generally we have three types of languages. One is high level language, second one is low level language, third one is the middle level language. So we know that one, high level language in the sense, the language is in the form of English. The language is in the form of English, is called high level language. Generally C++, Java, all those are comes under high level language. Low level language in the sense, it contains only zeros and ones. It is also called as mission language, also called as a mission language. Some low level language is assembly code. Assembly code is some low level language. The name specify middle. It uses both the futures of high level and low level. That is some of the futures of high levels also combined with low level. This is the middle language. Generally, C is the middle language. In some situations, C is also called as high level language, but regularly C is called middle level language. Now, the important thing is, high level language is generated by the user. That means, user understand only high level language. By using this language, we are generating application software. Low level language is understandable by the mission. So by using this low level language, system softwares are developed. You got it? High level language is used to generate application software. Low level languages are used to generate system softwares. Now what you required? We required a translator. The simple thing is, we required a translator that our high level language is to be converted into low level language for system understanding. So, once I write a program in high level language, what are the different steps that are needed that is to be understandable by the computer. Now, we are moving into such steps. You got it? These are the different types of software. These are the different types of languages. Each type of language supports different types of softwares. Now, moving into the steps. The steps that are needed. Simply, input is 
ए सोर्स प्रोग्राम इनपुट इज ए सोर्स प्रोग्राम इन हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज एच एच एल इन देंस हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज दट इज प्रोवैडेड एस इनपुट टू दि प्री प्रोसेसर ओके फर्स्ट ई विल एक्सप्लेन द स्टेप एंड लैटर ऑन ई विल डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी फेस high level language is provided input to the preprocessor preprocessor performs some operation and produces modified source program produces modified source program what is this modified source program i will explain and this is input to the compiler now the compiler takes this modified source program as the input and produces assembly code produces assembly code as the output now this assembly code is passed as input to the assembler now the assembler converts this assembly code into relocatable mission code relocatable mission code this is also called as object code now this object code is transfer into linker and loader transfer to linker and loader finally this linker and loader produces dot exe file that is the executable file these are the steps that are required for execution of a program now what happens in each step i will explain clearly the first one is pre processor so what happens pre processor takes high level language program as the input and modified source program what do you mean by modified source program in the sense simply a source program without any Pre-processing statements. Any pre-processing statements. What do you mean by this one? What do you mean by this one? For example, if I am writing a C program, in the C program we have two functions: the printf and scanf. The purpose of printf is to print the value, scanf is to read the value. We know that we want. But how the compiler knows the purpose of printf is for output, the purpose of scanf is for input. for that purpose in this program we are using header files i think you know this one suppose hash include stdio.h so this stdio.h this is an header file standard input output this header file contains all the function definitions function definitions for printf and scanf now what happens so in the program if this line is present in the source program this is the first line after completion of this pre processor simply this entire thing is removed this entire thing is removed this is replaced with suppose we have a printf function the entire printf is replaced with the definition why why in the sense compiler does not know any pre processor compiler does not know any pre processor in the simple terms expansion of header file expansion of header file is done by the pre processor not only header file i think everyone know the hash symbol preceding with hash symbol is called pre processor statement we have two types of pre processing this is called file inclusion and another one is macro expansion i think everyone know these are all comes in c language macro expansion like this hash define pi 3.14 that is this pi is expanded whenever throughout the program wherever pi occurs pi is replaced with 3.14 now the pre processor step is completed simply that modified source program in the sense a program without any pre processing statements is supplied as 
input to the compiler is supplied as input to the compiler what the compiler do simply compiler checks the syntactic rules of the programming language suppose if it is a c language each and every line ended with semicolon like this suppose more than one variable has to separated with the comma the syntactic rules of the programming language are verified of the programming languages are verified and produces assembly code and produces assembly code this is the task of compiler once the assembly code is generated the assembly code is passed as input to the assembler assembly code is passed as that is like this assembly code is passed as input to the assembler it produces relocatable mission code are also called as object code what do you mean by this relocatable mission code before you how to learn this relocatable you have to know two things first one we have memory and address two types of addresses are present one is logical address second one is physical address logical address is the address that is generated by the program or generated by the user that is called logical address physical address is the address that is generated by the cpu is called physical address now the important fact is if you want to execute a program compulsory that program is stored in main memory so the physical address is also called as main memory physical address is also called as main memory compulsory program is to be stored in main memory how how in the sense the user generated logical address is added with offset is added with offset to to get the physical address so the logical address is added with offset to get the physical address that is called relocatable that is we are moving from one address to another address why the mission code mission code in the sense it is an object code it is understandable by the mission only that is the task of assembler now if you are providing this relocatable mission code as input to the linker input to the linker and loader what is the purpose of linker first to linker simply links simply links the object to code of different functions in the program to the main function simply for example we have scanf and printf function in our program so the library files of various components are merged together that is linked together so scanf is some object code printf has some object code these two objects core are combined together to the main program combined together to the main program that is linker links all the objects code that are existed in the program and finally it generates dot exe file this is the executable file so here source program for example if it is a c language assume this is abc dot c here it produces abc dot obj that is object code finally the linker generates dot exe file that is executable file then what the loader do so the name specifies if you want to execute a program that program must be in main memory so the loader loads this program into the main memory that is loads this executable file into the main memory okay these are the four steps that are required for processing a language okay if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you